Esta es una peña. ¿no? Por eso le dice Oroncuyo, Oroncuyo. Ah, es el último lo que está parece parece chico papo es donde está eso pues hay que criarle acá también debe estar acá no chico papo va a tener ya 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 pisamos la persia ya de persia en tabayo ya ni ya ni ya ya pa o a ti yo que te aguanan y tú tienes puñales ya pa más calle ya más calle ya 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 pa ya ni ya calle ya pues ya no sé, y ni que escate es un por, ya no sé, ya pues y lo que hace que te llame y no, y no sé, y para que te haces pintas en hora para, 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 el 80% de los yanes formamos comunidades y establecimos nuestra organización, la Federación de Comunidades Nativas Yanes Fekonaya. Mediante ella hemos reclamado al Estado peruano la titulación de nuestras tierras. Hoy en día hay unas 1.400 familias yanes en 35 comunidades nativas ubicadas en las provincias de Chanchamayo, en la región de Junín, Oxapampa, en la región de Pasco, y Puerto Inca, en la región de Huánuco. Asimismo, existen unas 400 familias más que viven dispersas tanto dentro de la misma zona como en centros urbanos cercanos a ella y en Lima. For the Yanisha people, the natural landscape and the geographical territory are essential aspects of their life and their identity. The landscape provides for their daily sustenance and is also their pharmacy. The territory is the place of their ancestors and the setting of their history. The two together, natural landscape and geographical territory, constitute their historical cultural space. The Janesha preserve a very extensive body of oral histories, dealing with their ancestors and the relation with their historical cultural space. Cuando les pedimos, los abuelos nos cuentan cómo se originó nuestro mundo y todo lo que hay en él. Nos cuentan que ha sido transformado varias veces por ancestros poderosos. Y también cómo nuestros antepasados perdieron la oportunidad de convertirse en un pueblo inmortal. También nos cuentan que nuestros chamanes poderosos pelearon contra males y enemigos que también habitaban la tierra. In the 1970s, with the young people from the Yanisha Cultural Center, we began to document Yanisha geography. The idea was to produce and use maps to affirm the history of the people and to back their territorial claims. Although we made progress, the effort remained incomplete. In the year 2000, on the basis of an agreement with Fekonaya, this work was taken up again, thanks to the collaboration between the Janesha specialist, Espiritu Bautista, and the anthropologist, Richard J. Smith of the Instituto del Bien Común. For carrying out this task, the new computerized geographic information systems technology was used which was very useful for organizing the extensive body of data and for composing maps. Also, they had the support of several dozens of Janesha, especially elders, 
who help to recover and protect the names and histories of thousands of places and geographical elements. Para el trabajo de campo, hicimos visitas de dos a tres semanas a ciertos sectores, acompañados por los mayores que conocían esa zona. Utilizamos hojas topográficas oficiales, así como grandes mapas, borradores, producidos por nosotros mismos. On these letter maps, they mark down the locations and place names of mountains, boulders, rivers, lakes and ancient trails. Also, the location of temples, towns and places where battles had taken place. The sites of the powerful ancestors and their feats were recorded along with the places where the ancestors rose up into the sky where an ancestor was turned into a stone or where he or she hid in a mountain. Apart from this, the geographical coordinates taken by satellite with a small instrument called GPS were written down in a notebook. In case one of the participants knew a story associated with one of these sites, this was then recorded. They return to the city. Back in the city and at the computers, the information gathered was entered into a database using a program put together by the Institute especially for the Yanisha. Using GIS software, we entered the coordinates gathered onto a digital map and then connected them to the database. En verdad es un trabajo tedioso y hay que tener mucha paciencia. Hasta el momento ya se encuentra mapeado gran parte del espacio histórico cultural Yanesh. Y en la base de datos existen más de 5000 elementos mapeados. The mapping shows the cultural and sacred nature of the landscape for the Yanesha people. The mountains, cliffs, large rocks and rivers are creations made by acts of heroic transformation carried out by powerful ancestors. This is the case of our grandfather Achankel. Other geographic elements reveal places where the ancestors disappeared into an invisible world. This is the case of Lake Porromno. At the insistence of many of the elders, visits were made to the highlands of Tarma, Lauroya, and Yauli. From these visits, the strong links of the Yanesha with the Andean zone and the Pacific coast were revealed. It is becoming clear that the history of the Yanesha took place within a much larger space that had been imagined, an historical cultural space that extended over both slopes of the Andes Mountains, from the Amazonian Plain to the Pacific Ocean. Para nosotros como Yanesha, nos queda un gran reto conservar nuestra historia e enseñarla a nuestros hijos y nietos, recordar y honrar a nuestros ancestros con cantos y danzas y proteger los lugares donde están escondidos. Soksha meta muena ne mone rishasma Alyo chepa aksha mia chonche ye sha chorwe resiato Aye ya aye ya aye ya aye ya